everybody, it is Sam. Welcome to another edition of Solving Your Stress mini series. Just a small camera adjustment here. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Hey, if you haven't heard, uh, Texas is closed. <laughs> it's closed for the snow. So today is really, really important because we've got a lot of stress going on between dealing with the weather, dealing with kids, now home from school because of the weather and every day uh, I'm getting questions. Sam, how do I handle the stress during this time? We've still got the pandemic uh, going on. And recently I had a conversation with somebody who's very, very high level in the coaching industry. And, and she and I discuss, you know, that, that overwhelming feeling when things start coming at you that you're really not sure uh, what you're doing and, and whether it's a technical thing or reaching out to new people or expanding your business and it really was creating a lot of stress. So we got to talking about the one thing that I want to talk to you about today and it is critical if you want to keep your stress under control. So what's the one thing? Getting methodical. And what I mean by getting methodical is you've got to get methodical with your days. From the minute you get up to the minute you go to bed, you have got to understand and be aware of where your mind is. And at the end of the day, same thing. So you can fall into a very deep recuperative sleep. So you're probably wondering, well, you know, sound, that sounds great, Sam. How do I do that? It's creating a recipe for yourself. So, for instance, when I get up in the morning, I do not turn on my phone, check social media, get on the internet, do email. The first thing I do is I read. Well, <laughs> the first thing I do is grab coffee. I mean, come on, let's be real here. Grab coffee, grab a book, and uh, read for 20 minutes. And the books that I read are generally uh, around uh, the things that I do, so around you know expanding education, um, but I also read for fun, uh, so fiction books. And I do that for 20 minutes, and then I go into setting my day. Now you guys have heard about me, uh, heard me talk about this before. This is the high performance planner. Okay. Now I do not, I'm not an affiliate of Brendan Burchard or anything like that. It's something that I have been using for a couple of years now. And he's a, he's a mentor, uh, uh of mine. And so I get, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's already, you know, written in and everything. But the keys to that planner and what I love, it is sets the tone because it starts with asking some key questions. So it's really engaging your mind. You're aware of where you are and the things that you need to do. Now I have my entire day uh, planned out because it's got, a, a times here that start at 6 a.m. and they end at 7.30 and I've got things that I, that I have to do throughout the day so I can be on top of what I must do to move myself forward every single day. And when you stay in that lane of planning out things in a very methodical way you can build on that day to day. You don't want to be somebody that is yanked around by life. And unfortunately, that's where most of us live. We're just responding to one crisis after the next. And then by the time we sit down, it's like, oh God, it's 5 p.m. and I haven't done anything. That's the most stressful way that you can live if you live in that compounding being yanked around by life every single day. Take a step back, decide to get methodical. St 
start your day by reading something educational, something that expands your mind for 20 minutes and then go right into the planning mode of your day. And once you build that practice, you will find by the end of the, each day, not only have you accomplished more than you have uh, ever before, but you'll feel great about it. You'll feel like you're on top of things. You feel like everything is in your control. And that means that there's a whole lot less stress. And frankly, who doesn't want that? So if you're watching this and you're in North, uh, the North Texas region, after you dig yourself out <laughs> from Snowmageddon and we got round two coming on Wednesday, Take a minute, grab a cup of coffee, grab some tea, hot beverage, warm up, sit down with a book, 20 minutes, then, then plan out the rest of your day. It's 1230 something. You got the rest of your day to plan out and you'll see how much less stress you have by the end of the day. You can't do it just today. You can't do it just tomorrow. This has got to be a big change that you make for yourself going forward okay and I, I could keep going about how it propels you forward but that'll be the subject of, of another uh, Facebook live perhaps next week so get methodical to solve your stress if you like what you're hearing and you want a whole lot more diving in deep to solve your stress you and I can do that together visit SolveYourStress.com, sign up for my free training. You and I are together for an hour. There's some great things, including a planner of my own that I came up with that you'll get uh, if you sign up for a course that is uh, part of that training. So that's SolveYourStress.com. Hey, you want to connect with me on social? Fantastic. If you're watching this on Facebook, you're already, we are already connected jump on over to Twitter. You can find me at the Sam Horwitz. And if you want to check out even more, go to my website, samanthahorwitz.com. I've got a blog and every uh, twice a month, I put up a new blog post. You can sign up to get that delivered right to you via email. So remember folks, get methodical. And until next week, Sam out.